Justin Van Buskirk. I'm part of the welding program. I was combat arms reconnaissance, so I really didn't have much in the line of transferable skills. So I needed to get something that I could find a good job with, something I could do anywhere in the world. I would tell prospective students that want to come into this trade that uh, there is no limitations as long as you put the work into the job. I've seen people in this program from every walk of life that are starting over or starting from scratch with no experience whatsoever. And everybody can make it as long as they put the energy into it. So a concave weld has no weld reinforcement. You know, anything excessive of the weld face is called weld reinforcement. My name is Jeremy O'Dell. I'm the welding instructor coordinator at uh, Peninsula Community College. Uh, we run a two-year associate's degree program. The first year curriculum is all stick welding. Second year curriculum is all wire feed and TIG welding. So they get into the exotics, aluminum, copper, nickel, stainless. And we are starting to incorporate a lot more aluminum into the curriculum because aluminum is getting more prominent in industry. Stay good. So that's how you do it. Well, the marine industry plays a huge part locally here in the North Olympic Peninsula. And we do have people, uh, local industry, uh, on our welding advisory board. And they tell us what's going on and we cater our welding program to that. One thing we do here as well is we nationally certify our welders. We teach them to AWS code, both for a marine and for general construction and structural industries. I really appreciate the fact that the welding program, it's not just industrial fabrication, it allows us to flex our artistic muscles and actually, you know, be creative in interesting ways with metal. Being able to actually lay out and cut pieces and actually make a project come together from start to finish is probably my favorite part of the program. We find the type of students coming into us now, they want to express themselves more and we do that through art projects and you'll see our art scattered around the campus here and on, on a day like this uh, today we're finishing off the uh, annual Junkyard Art Wars you know and uh, so the students are seeing another side of welding too where they can go into the artistic side of welding and also make an income from that too. When you hit the job site, if you have to do some calculations, it's important to get it right. My name is Charlie Lyons, and uh, I work in the IBEST welding program. A lot of people, um, when they're new to the college, they're not familiar with that uh, acronym, IBEST. What it means is Integrated Basic Education Skills Training. And what it really does, uh, in particular for the welding program, I think, is it gives people a second chance to brush up some of the basic skills that perhaps they um, didn't get when they were younger, or maybe they've forgotten over the years. We do two quarters of mathematics and we actually cover the same material that's covered generally in some of the math courses that they would typically be required to take as students to receive their AA degree. We cover it right in the welding classroom and it's applied to welding. Um, and that's the I part of IBEST, it's integrated. Students leave the program fully equipped and ready for the workforce. The bottom line is to get students jobs. That's what we want to see, is to get every student a job. You're, you're, you're making progressions along the way, but you're coming back to the same spot. I think that I could use the skills that I've learned at PC anywhere. The overall work experience, just learning how to work with people working in, in the shop environment, it's, it's pretty much universal. And being able to learn a lot of the skills that we, we have in the program, such as the uh, the, the cutting, the fitting, the grinding, um, all of the real hard labor work, uh, as well as the, the welding symbols that we learn. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that is pretty well transferable. It's a universal language for this trade. And welding in itself is used worldwide in hundreds of different applications. So I think the skills are going to be used anywhere that I want to go.